Hello, good evening and welcome to Prime Business. With me, Pius Kojo Baka. The Bank of Ghana has indicated that it will continue to clamp down on illegal lending apps used to threaten people who default in paying back loans. According to the central bank, it is illegal to threaten to expose pictures and publish other confidential data of borrowers. Speaking at the Momo at 15 Fintech Stakeholders Forum, the director of Fintech at the Bank of Ghana, Kwame Opon, cautioned that the central bank will not allow unauthorized products to destabilize the financial sector. More in this report. In recent years, technological advancements have paved the way for innovative financial solutions. Mobile banking, digital wallets and blockchain technologies have become instrumental tools in extending financial services to previously underserved populations. In Ghana, interventions such as MTN Momo has successfully rigged in a significant part of the informal economy into the financial regime, offering a wide range of services. Speaking at the Momo at 15 Fintech Stakeholders Forum, Director of Fintech and Innovation at the Bank of Ghana, Kwame Opong, cautioned that the central bank will not allow unauthorized products such as illegal lending apps to destabilize the financial sector. Nothing should be introduced into this country that causes instability to the financial sector, does not somehow put the integrity of our economy at risk. That's the first and foremost. Secondly, nothing should be coming into the country that somehow jeopardizes the livelihoods of individuals and businesses. And particularly, there are several kinds of innovation. Let me give you an example. You see those illegal lending apps who've been sending messages to consumers just because people need a little bit to get by. That is innovation in the wrong direction. Chief Technology Officer at IT Consortium, Ebo Annamwa Mensa, called on regulators to embrace emerging technology to boost innovation. They are taking learnings from what's happened in other countries. Today we know that crypto is the easiest way to hide money, right? And criminals love it. But it also has very good ben benefits for good, right? And so for the regulator, they need to find ways to make sure that they have sufficient guardrails that when it's being used, it can be used and to perpetuate even more fraud or money laundering, so on and so forth. Right? So I understand your point. I'm also looking for ease to be able to innovate, but there has to be a balance. Meanwhile, Chief Executive of Mobile Money Limited, Shaibu Haruna, noted that his outfit will continue to implement safety tools and deepen education on fraud to improve trust among customers. It is our uh, resolve that we enhance the trust equity of our customers for service by maintaining the integrity and reliance and reliability as a matter of fact of the service and also ensure that when there is a friction customers have a recourse mechanism in terms of restoring them um, of, of their value and based on the discussions that have happened today i think the common theme that we are carrying across is to work collaboratively as industry to find better recourse mechanism to enhance the experience of our customers. The Momo at 15 Fintech Stakeholders Forum was held on the theme, building trust and cooperation among stakeholders, how to maximize the impact of emerging technologies for the promotion of financial inclusion. To stay a while longer at the central bank because total value of loans granted by banks and savings and loans for the second quarter with support from the collateral registries increased significantly to hit almost 11 billion cities. This was captured in the collateral registry report released by the Bank of Ghana. George Yaffe tells us more. Data from the Bank of Ghana showed that loans granted by these financial institutions based on assets registered with the collateral registry went up by more than 80%. The Bank of Ghana puts the amount at almost 11 billion Ghana cities for the second quarter of this year compared to 5.9 billion Ghana cities in the same period for last year. Out of this amount, 9.1 billion Ghana cities came from commercial banks, compared to 4.9 billion Ghana cities in the same period in 2023. On the other hand, special deposit taking institutions like savings and loans companies gave out 1.7 billion Ghana cities compared to the 900. 71 million Ghana cities granted 
the same period for last year. Another interesting development that emerged from this report is that a lot more persons took loans from banks using their assets registered with the collateral registry were actually paying back their loans back on time. This resulted in more than 36,000 discharges. This represents 200% jump in terms of what was recorded in the same period for last year. Savings and loans companies recorded the highest discharges of 29,000. On the other hand, the number of assets registered with the collateral registry went up by more than 50% compared to the same period for last year. Private enterprises constituted the largest recipient of secure loans with a percentage share of 60%, followed by individuals with 15%. Talking about loans, the Ghana Export and Import Bank says it will continue to put in place a strict risk management framework together with efficient monitoring strategies to ensure minimal impairment levels. According to the Deputy Chief Executive Officer Rosemary Archab, the bank will create an avenue for businesses to generate revenue from sales of their products to the general public. She spoke to Joy Business. The Ghana Exim Bank at its Tuesday market said it is committed to increasing revenue from non-traditional export and to complement the efforts of exporters making Ghana a strong pillar regionally and globally across all sectors. So far from January to this August, we have showcased products from about over 800 SMEs. And this is a feat, I believe. We want to tell Ghanaians that it is possible. We can see, taste, and feel Ghana. We can produce our own. We can consume our own. And then, as a bank, we support export. We send them to the global marketplace. In the coming months, we are hoping to enroll more made in Ghana shops to showcase some of these products. Because apart from the Midtown, which is a platform for trade facilitation of Exim Bank. We do not see a lot of these made in Ghana products. The Osu Manchet, Nochetni, Nochet Owo, the fort, called for more attention to the small and medium enterprise sector. Shows not just creativity, but support from higher ups into what we can make locally in promoting that. The kind of young people I've seen also involved is also quite you know, extraordinary because it shows you know, the Ghanaian youth, the Ghanaian young person is dedicated to us you know, creating out of nothing and that's where things in the next stage of where our country should be. I'm impressed, I support this and I know that traditional leaders across you know, the, you know, the broad spectrum of Ghana are willing to support this and you know, make sure that uh, Ghana's name is on the international market, so go Ghana. <laughs> Managing Director of Fidelity Bank Ghana, Julian Oponi, is urging other private institutions to support the quest by the bank to promote a green economy. According to him, efforts by the financial sector to create a sustainable green economy for this country can be boosted if more firms support initiatives aimed at promoting environmental sustainability. Julian Oponi spoke to Joy Business after addressing the sustainability conference here in Accra. There is more in the following report. The Sustainability Conference by the Business and Financial Times with support from Fidelity Bank brought together corporate firms to make a commitment towards safeguarding the environment as well as using clean energy. According to Managing Director for Fidelity Bank Ghana, supporting small businesses, the funding is just one way of making a commitment towards green economy, hence the need for more activities to promote environmental sustainability. Money is normally only one of the ingredients to create the support. We are a financial institution, but we're trying to build what we call an ecosystem. The idea is we make a lot more noise, hoping that others are also touched, other institutions that can either offer technical assistance, other investment ideas, expertise, etc. will join this ecosystem where this whole thing becomes a big collaboration, uh, private part public partnerships, government institutions, policy makers, and other private sector investors. We want everybody's hand on deck because it's not just about us. So the idea is the future, the dream will be to have a larger collaborative effort, which is really creating the change. 
Startup firm Skin Gomer was adjudged winners for the Fidelity Bank Green Tech Innovation Challenge as part of SES Sustainability Conference in a significant move to propel Ghana's agriculture sector towards a more sustainable future. The bank initiated an award of over 1 million cities in grants and mentorship for some small enterprises. After receiving the cash prize from the bank, the group assured of using the funds to expand their operations. Um, okay, um, so... Um these 200,000 Ghana cities, um, we are going to use it for um, some of our technologies in the company and also to extend the business. We want Skengome to go far, I mean very far, to get more raw materials, to employ more um, um, em employees. To, I mean, like, it's, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. We are going to use it, honestly. To expand the business, yes. This year's conference is under the theme Ensuring Environmental and Economic Sustainability, Collaborating for a Greener Future. Development architect Professor Kwame Ado has indicated that Ghana needs efficient institutions and refined attitudes to increase productivity and spur socio-economic development. According to him, Ghana's economy can thrive when challenges are tackled holistically. He spoke to Joy Business at the launch of his book titled Visions of Africa. The book gives a vivid outlook of Ghana, West Africa, and the entire African continent natural resources, which could reveal lasting opportunities for development. Professor Kwame Ado revealed key resources, potential zones of confluence and interactive infrastructure pathways, such as trans-African highways, railways, energy, dams, seaports, and airports. It's a book that sets us on the history trail for us to understand where we came from. Secondly, it delves into how we've been positioned in terms of each country and what they have to offer for the rest of the world. There's also the key issue of development, which has always been hindered or hampered by different issues. And uh, we should also note that Ghana is no different from many of the other countries who are running through similar problems. The idea of this book is for us to see ourselves as one and start to forge ahead with a collective mindset. The book delves deep into the issue of mindset because that is where the final frontier is. Our minds are what is driving whatever we are doing. The book dubbed Vision of Africa seeks to reach out and share with leaders policymakers, business communities, sub-region and the world at large on Africa's unique circumstances and possibilities. International tech company Yango has organized a free health screening for its partners, drivers and couriers. This initiative is part of the company's commitment to ensuring the safety and well-being of its partners, drivers and couriers. There's more in this report. The health screening, which is in partnership with Beaver Clinic Limited in Accra, aims at improving the health conditions of drivers. This consists of eye tests, dental checks, and general vital tests. Speaking at the health screening, country manager of Yango, Ghana, Tom Ofunime, said, Considering the recent increase in chronic lifestyle diseases, it is imperative that the company supports its partners, the drivers and couriers, by organizing frequent health checks for early detection. For us, the well-being of partner drivers on our platform is important. They spend time online, so we want to make sure that their minds are okay, their health are okay. This is hopefully going to be lifelong. Uh, we have short-term plans, we have medium-term plans, but we want to do this for the long haul, so we're going full throttle on this one. Because it is important that the wellness and the well-being of these people on our platform is a priority for us. According to Yango, the health screening is one of many initiatives lined up to ensure the safety and well-being of these partner drivers and couriers. The CEO of Beaver Clinic Limited in Accra, Obi Ilogu, said the partnership will enhance the well-being of drivers. The partnership for us with Yango, partner drivers, is invaluable uh, as we want to provide holistic health care towards these very crucial members of our society that provide us essential service of transportation. So it's important for us to provide them with quality and assurance by giving them this boutique bespoke 360 degree healthcare solutions so that they can get assurance and longevity 
Some of the partner drivers lauded the initiative and described it as a good move that will reduce the cost incurred by drivers in seeking health care. So far, it's been good. We have conducted a number of tests, particularly the eye test, since we drive at night. We are very delighted young organizers for us. A reminder, you're still watching Prime Business. Advanced Technology Bar Security, ATBS, a top provider of security solutions in Ghana, is offering enticing products and discounts at this year's EcoBank Journeys Habitat Fair. With a proven track record in the security industry, ATBS is eager to connect with entities at the event. Stay with us as we dive into the details and show you what to expect. Hello, welcome to ATBS Ghana Limited. I'm Eki Odura Obinyebwa. At ATBS Ghana Limited, we've been in operation for the past 21 years. We have a branch in Kumase and in Accra, which is the head office. And we deal in CCTV, electric fence, gate automation, access control, garage door automation, intruder alarm system, setter barrier and fire alarm system. I will take you through our product. This is an example of the CCTV system that we have. This brand is the Hig Vision system. We have this camera, which is a geofence camera, which sets parameters in which when the intruder um, crosses the line, it sounds an alarm. This is also a hotel lock system. It uses a card and a key in case of emergency. It is timed and you use it in hotels and we install it for hotels. Also, we have the gate motor system which comes for both the sliding doors and then the swing gate in D5, D10, D20 for industrial gate. Then we have the garage motors also where you can automize your motors. We, when it comes to electric fans, we do solely in Nimtech and these are the energizers which is the system that controls the whole uh, electric fan system in your, in your house. It comes with a 20R backup system naturally when the power goes off but if you want to go beyond the 20 hours then you would need to have the backup system which will go as far as 48 hours we also saw access you can also use when it comes to our cctv our cctv we have both the edvrs that comes with an hard drive in it we also have the video intercom system here we're doing both famous commerce and then intercom um Hig vision sorry what it does that it allows you to be able to speak to the client on the video whilst you are inside the room to know who is at the gate and give access to the person to also come in. We have the time and attendance system, which can also be combined together with your uh, software management in the company to know the time your clients come to work and the time your clients leave their office. These are examples of the bars that we use. We have both the square tube bars and then the flat bars. The square tube bars, we use it for both eight lines and six lines, determining the customer's length of the wall and the flat bars when the wall is long enough. My name is Norbert Asante, the operation manager of ATBS Limited. Apart from the product, we also offer a lot of services for our clients. We provide installation, and when it comes to installation, ATBS, we are known as the best. We provide quality services such as gate automation system. We have well-trained technicians, which they will do your installation for you. We also have trained technicians on CCTV. Uh, normally, when people are buying CCTV, they don't take into consideration the picture quality, the strategic position that they need to consider. Sometimes incident will happen and the video footage will be needed to, for investigation. They will play the video and they can't identify the person properly. But ATBS will come to your house and it's free of charge. We will do the survey and we will analyze the strategic point that when we face your cameras, we will, we will be able to capture all your surrounding or your compound with that living in the blank spot and also we advise and recommend the type of camera which will be suitable at your depending on your jurisdiction or your premises the size 
and all these services are for free we will come and we will not charge you and we will prepare we will use that to prepare the estimate or the quotation for you we will also do car tracking system those that they are into uber or transport businesses we will provide car tracking where you can monitor your vehicles wherever you are you just sit at your house or your offices and you just open the app and monitor wherever your vehicle is and we can do that for you without you having any problem with your vehicle and we will also provide garage automation system when you drive and get home you don't need to call anyone to come and open your garage for you we we'll give a remote to you where you press the remote and your garage open for you then you use the back door then you go inside your room we will also do little fencing to prevent the intruders jumping into your compound or your houses uh, when it comes to installation it's very very important people are using all kinds of cables all kind of bars to do this which are not the recommended material by the supplier right when it comes to atbs we are known for that that we, we go according to the manufacturer standard so all our materials are based on the manufacturer specification so we'll do a quality and a good job for you and we have a team that will respond in case of any call that you place to atbs if you have any issue or any emergency there are so many reasons uh everyone should buy from atbs but i can just give you this straight thing quality job when it comes to quality we don't play with it and also good services anytime we do the installation and a customer call us we are already on your door to help you we have technicians around 24 7 when you call us we'll be at your house or your premises to help you we will also give one year warranty on all our products and finally we also give six months free installation after the installation we give six months service with that charge when you call us we'll come and we'll correct whatever error or issue you have without charging you at this year join this ecobank capital fair we are expecting you to come and when we come we are giving 10 percent discount so we are looking forward for all our prospective customers to come and we'll give you a good service thank you bye bye <laughs> Yeah, we are looking we forward to see you at CIA Ecoba Join this Habitat Fair. ATBS Limited, yeah, your security, security our priority. Bye. Galamse sand weaning and unchecked activities in our forests are increasingly threatening the seal population in Ghana. This was a concern raised by Felix Nyakon Apia, the CEO of Trasole's Farms, when he appeared on the Joy Business Masterclass Agribusiness Series. Every <laughs> agri-product in Ghana. Yes, there is. Are there cartels for sales? Yes, yes. There are market women <laughs> that, <laughs> that <laughs> if, if I'm those not careful, cartels, eh? those if cartels, I'm not eh? careful, I might not wake up tomorrow. <laughs> because they, they come to the source or they go remote, yeah. go to the forest, give people batteries do you know when they go to the villages they just give them batteries for their headlamps and the guys go in there pick all the snails they buy it at so little the cost and once it comes all the way to the promised land which is accra then the, the price value skyrockets and that's how they get their snails because there are very little farms for snails very little commercial farms currently producing the forests snails. are producing them all year round and now we are taking all that down the uh, other bad f uh, practices on land galamse sand weaning uh, uncontrolled pesticide for instance is the main corporate for us losing all the uh, uh, fauna uh, in the forest basically and uh, that that is very worrying because most people buy fertilizer, pesticides, and all that, and just spray it rampantly, and it runs off into their forest, or and then just keeps on but killing. Snails used to be quite affordable. I mean, on the trips between Cape Coast and Accra. Now, yeah, a jute sack sells yeah. for six hundred CDs. Yeah. The yeah. last time I had, I said six hundred. What for? Yeah. 
that's even generous because they are I'm I, I'm not sure the sizes, but if you're looking at the sizes that are deemed edible here in Ghana, yeah. that's even much more expensive. Thanks so much for watching Prime Business. I am Pius Kojo Baka. We've got more stuff.